Assalamu alaikum. Hey, what's going on? I was just sitting here reading this missionary handbook for converting Muslims to Christianity. Actually, I have a few of them, like this one. This one by Nabil Qureshi. But do you know who was one of the godfathers, grandfathers of anti-Muslim, Islamophobic, colonizer, missionary work? An arch colonizer missionary by the name of Carl Fander, born in Germany, a part of the Church Missionary Society and author of Mizan ul Haq and other well-known books. He was well-versed in the languages of the Persians and in the Arabic language. He was a missionary in the Caucasus region. He went to Iran, Iraq. He ended up going to India and eventually went to Constantinople in Turkey. The arguments in his book that he revolutionized are still used to this day by other arch colonizer missionaries such as Sam Shimon and David Wood, Jay Smith, and others like them. Even Jay Smith named his organization after Fander. In 1854, Fender engaged in a debate with a Muslim scholar by the name of Rahmatullah Karanawi in India. He was being supported by other missionaries who were there at the time and by the servants of the British East Indian Company and Indians who had converted to Christianity. If you didn't know, the British East Indian Company was formed in the 1600s by the British in simple terms to exploit and extract wealth out of uh, South Asia for colonizers in England. Seized control of a large part of India, colonized Southeast Asia, Hong Kong, even up into the Persian Gulf. This marriage between colonizer and Christian missionary is nothing strange. As the saying goes, first comes the missionaries with the Bible, and then when the indigenous people accept that Bible, then comes the colonizer with the gun and then they lose their land and their natural resource. You read Fender's uh, writings, it's clear that he was a original Islamophobe who didn't even have the respect to call the religion Islam using the terms Muhammadim, Muhammadism. He was a true Orientalist, well steeped in the attitudes of Europeans during his time, mainly the attitude of Eurocentricity and white supremacy. It wouldn't even have occurred to him and others like him that non-Anglo-Saxon people from the East could know the truth or be upon the correct path or have anything that they could learn from.